On the evening of May 4th, Katie Beth Carruth packed her 1996 Ford Explorer and headed to Tupelo for the summer break. The MSU junior was making plans for the weekend. We talked for a very long time and she wanted me to go out to eat with her. As she headed north on Highway 45 alternate through Clay, Chickasaw, and Monroe counties, Katie Beth was on her phone. She sent this message at 714, I'm tweeting while driving. At 729, her Aunt Robin receives a text. She said, I'm on my way home and had all these exclamation points behind it. Um, just excited to come home. Moments later, the Ford Explorer veers off the road and flips several times. She is thrown from the car and killed instantly. I just think it's senseless. Penny Cooley says she is angry as she deals with the unexpected death of her niece. Robin had preached to her a hundred times, please don't text while you're driving. I, I told Robin the other day, you know, she was just a poster child for, I'm invincible, I can do this. God's a big comfort in our lives, but right now the question why is just, and why is in our face? I mean, she she was texting, and um, there's so many adults that do it and just think, well, I'm an adult, I'm just in more control. That's what they think, and it's just not that. It's just that you're putting your life and the lives of others at risk. As a motorcycle officer with the Tupelo Police Department, Alan Chavers has worked his share of wrecks. He says there is a growing problem with drivers who are distracted because of texting. The environment changes on the road as you travel. Uh, every hundred foot, every block, uh, every mile, the environment of your roadway is going to change. A, a, an animal could run out in front of you. A, a ball, a child's ball could run out in front of you. A child could run out in front of you. And if you are distracted texting, uh, dialing a phone number on your, on your cell phone, uh, those things distract you and cut down on your reaction time. Drivers of all ages tell us they know it's not safe to text and drive, but that doesn't always stop them. Have you ever texted while you've been driving? Yes, I am ashamed to say that I have. Are you kidding? All the time? Yeah. Uh, I'm admitted a, a guilty as charged. I have. Yeah, I'm awful at it, so I try not to do it a lot anyway, but I definitely do. Mississippi doesn't keep track of the number of wrecks caused by texting and driving, but a spokesman with the Highway Patrol says distracted driving is the number one cause of auto accidents. In the meantime, the family of Katie Beth Carruth is dealing day by day with a tragedy they hope no one else has to go through. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.